way possible, I came to learn that I am not a leader. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most honored guest, let me bring you on my journey in discovering what kind of leadership style I have. First off, Niagara Falls in my family home after a family get together. After dinner, we're casually talking and I pop the question. Hey guys, what kind of leadership style do I have? Um, you don't have a leadership style. You're not a leader. What are you talking about? Yeah, remember the time when she said, instead of doing Christmas sweaters, we should dress up as someone from the nativity scene? <laughs> First of all, that was a joke. <laughs> Secondly, I thought I would get a little bit more positive feedback considering mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel that I have a strong personality. Mm -hmm. But no, after a little bit of mockery, <laughs> finally my mother jumps in and says, but you know what? She is the nicest from all of you. If you need help, she'll be the first to offer, and she's always there. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. <laughs> After a bit more of an honest discussion, we came to the conclusion that I'm not a leader. I am more of a moderator and peacekeeper within the family. Okay, I'll take that. Stop number two. My home. Meet my husband. Honey, what kind of leadership style do you think I have? No. <laughs> that is not an answer to the question. I didn't ask, do I? I said, what? You have to tell me more. No, no leadership style. You're just bossy. <laughs> okay, but you can explain a little bit more. A boss, a leader. trying to lead me no if I had to follow you I have crooked toes you keep stubbing your toes on everything <laughs> again a little bit of mockery when it came down to it I said think about the jobs inside of the house the jobs we both don't want to do the sink the drain the garbage the vacuum bag but you always end up doing it not me so how am I getting you to do it his response, plain and simple, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> okay, by now, I needed a little bit more of a pick-me-up. Let's ask some people who might need a reference letter from you sometime in the future. <laughs> I send out some messages, I send out some emails, and I did get some response in return. We had very generic responses, which were in the ballpark of being kind, being considerate, and easy to approach. Then we had some a bit more personalized, which commented on my organization, really listening to staff, and encouraging them when they need an extra push. There was also one comment that stood out to me, which was nice. It said, respected as a supervisor, yet approached as a friend. Okay, that's good. I think this is something, maybe the best lead I have in trying to figure out my leadership style. So I collected all the information from all the various people. I asked, I go home and I think, okay, now I'm a moderator, I'm a peacekeeper, I'm a happy wife, <laughs> and I'm a generally good human being. That's kind of what it came down to, but still I didn't feel anything showed what leadership style I actually have. Mm -hmm. As I started to reflect, I realized, you know what, it's true. I'm not a leader. In no way do I ever really want someone to follow me mm. through my footsteps. Mm -hmm. I would 
rather someone make their own path to be successful. I am more of a coordinator. Mm -hmm. There are responsibilities and there are people available to do them. Based on the responsibility, the, peer, the person, their time, their expertise, I'll match what is most suitable for them. There's people with problems and there's possible solutions. I'll be in the middle to give them suggestions to see if this is a feasible action for them. I have accepted I am not a leader. I'm happy with that because I would rather be standing behind a person to push them forward or catch them when they fall. <coughs> and this is my leadership.